Okay, look, I've made no secret of the fact that I'm an ice hockey fan. In fact, look, I'm such an ice hockey fan that I don't even call it ice hockey. I call it hockey, right? Because that's because that's what it's called. The other one's called field hockey, and nobody even makes games about that. So, in fact, is that, is that hold on? Let me check that. Surely, surely there must be a, a field hockey game. Let me Google it. Hold on, one sec. Aye, hold on. Right, here's one. The field hockey game. It, ah, it's, it's for Android. Right, that's an app. That's Right, it's an app. It's not even a game, right? So I'm right. So this is proper hockey. And if you've got a problem with me saying that, then away and play on your app, mate. However, right, I've I've got a dark confession to make here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, look, I can't really play NHL. Right, there, I said it. Right, I'm a bit lost when it comes to... I mean, look, look, I obviously, I used to be able to play it. Like, I used to play it all the time, like NHL 94 on the SNES or, or, or 2004 on the PS2, I was brilliant at those, but like, you know, with a lot of, like a lot of people and a lot of these big EA Sports kind of games, you, you do get, get to a point where you think, do I really need to buy this one this year? Is it just an updated title with new names and all that kind of stuff? And do I really need to buy it? So you don't buy it, then, you know, and then, you know, two years go by and then three years go by, five, ten years go by, ten years, and then now you can't play it at all. It's like, it's like the opposite of riding a bike. You just, you, you completely do forget immediately. However, I'd heard good things about NHL 20. Warm, tender things, welcoming things. World, you know, th things like accessibility and new game modes, things like that, lovely things. So, like a 15-year-old boy outside an offy, I took a deep breath and I gave it a go. Graphically, this is, it's excellent. You know, from the, the player movement to the detail and independent crowd movements as well. But I, in fact, to be honest with you, I always found that NHL games were always a bit kind of head and shoulders above the other kind of sports titles. The sound design as well was, was always phenomenal. It must be something about the actual sport itself. The sheer frequency of the moves must just lend itself to better commentary. However, a key factor here is it didn't mind teaching me to play again. Even from like the opening screen options, yeah, there was there was a, an understanding that you might be being welcomed back into the fold. What setting do you want to play it with? Do you need the tutorial? Here's the difficulty modes. Suggestions of what those mean. Basically, have you been away for a while? Welcome back, son. Don't worry, we'll take you through it. Detailed and entertaining tutorials that mix live action with in-game graphics. Simple breakdowns of the controls and then with an immediate application of them. I started to learn again. I started to enjoy it. I thought I could do this. It's even got a two-button configuration that just, you know, I mean, you can you can play that with, with no arms. You can play that with just your nose if you want. Game modes as well have been a big innovation in current generations of EA Sports titles. And let's be honest, we are basically just playing the same thing over and over again. And while I love the action and the addition of some of these uh, European teams being added in the Champions Hockey League in recent years, and some of the UK teams making an appearance in it, the clan aren't in it, and that's a bit of a drawback. But like a plastic surgeon, you've got to be honest, you are just reskinning the same old crap. However, with the Winter Classic and the 3v3 and the city touring modes where you travel around North America, you know, and take on NHL legends on their own patch, like warriors on ice, warriors! Oh, nice! You know, it genuinely feels like a new arcade way to play. Look, I love this. I'm, I'm back in love with this. And if you don't love it, well, I know an app you can download. Let's get it going.